when I was in operations, got running manufacturing plants and things like that. In the United States, energy is inexpensive, except when it isn't there. <laughs> okay, then it becomes, it's like the price elasticity of energy is almost infinite. If it's not there, it's a big problem. In your case, people die and things like that. For businesses, it th shuts things down. But from a cultural perspective, I didn't worry about energy when I was running manufacturing plants and things like that. It was inexpensive, and I'm going to go back to it's still inexpensive, but it was inexpensive, and it was pretty bloody reliable, and the power quality was good. In the United States today, for most manufacturing companies, energy only constitutes about 4% of their cost of goods sold. So people are talking about, oh, energy wow. costs and everything else. It really isn't that big a driver. But what it is, is it's absolutely essential, right? So if you don't have it, you'll pay anything you can get for it. But when you have it, it really isn't that expensive. So businesses didn't think about energy that much. You know, you went to, and again, you had your local utility, you went to your utility, you say, I need an energy, you know, contract, you got it, this is what it's going to cost. Now with the energy transition, that is changing and energy is becoming much more complicated. So again, to, and uh, looking at it from a business management perspective, business managers want sort of security and surety. So I need to budget. I need to make my quarterly numbers and all that kind of stuff. Before I had an energy contract, it was I was going to pay whatever it was, eight cents kilowatt hour, blah, 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 blah. I didn't worry about it. Now the energy markets have gotten highly volatile and they're getting worse. Yeah. So now your energy procurement, your strategy becomes super important. And then at the same time, we've got power quality issues coming in. We'll talk more about that. And just resiliency and reliability. The number of outages has gone up an order of magnitude, you know, in the last 10 years. That's very significant. The power quality problems have increased 14 fold in the last five years. So Energy, which used to be something that me as a you know as an operations guy could ignore, is no longer the case. Just really quickly, um, you said you said power quality. Um, just wanted to get a sense of you know define that term, and also I'm, I'm curious about what we define as an outage. Uh, there was a fabulous documentary out of Germany, of all places, <laughs> produced by State Media, Deutsche Welle. Was looking at the energy transition and like limits to it and whether it was faltering. And a big part of the analysis was sort of the risk of catastrophic blackouts. But in some of the reporting, they went to um, what I recall was uh, it's it's a company that creates some of the electromagnets and copper wiring uh, for wind turbines. And this company was complaining that you know a blackout, what is what is officially registered as a blackout, is is you know a minute or two. Um, and when they have grid disruptions of microseconds, it completely screws up their industrial process. Um, and they got to shuttle their machines down, and it's at least a six-figure expense to re, you know recalibrate and get back online. Uh, so I imagine you know doing what you do and you know these mission critical industries and and these increasing concerns about reliability. I think a lot about vital signs <laughs> as a medical doctor, but You've got your finger on the pulse of this. You're feeling some funky stuff happening. Um, so yeah, what, what's what's power quality and yeah, so you sort define of outage in, for me? Into sort of the two things. And a lot of it where it gets confusing is what the rules are for reporting an outage. So typically there is an industry standard report in the United States on outages. And in general, it does not include outages that are less than five minutes. So when I talk about outages increasing dramatically, those are ones that are longer, typically, than five minutes. Wow. Then you have, wow. What, what about the sub five minutes? Ah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that's a whole different you know, uh, situation. Most of those occur less than 30 seconds. The vast, vast majority occur less than 30 seconds, many only just a couple of seconds. Now, you mentioned microseconds. In general, that would be too short to really cause disruptions. But what is happening, we have two things going on. One, our manufacturing processes are getting more sophisticated, more automated, and more complex than they used to be. And then number two, we have power quality declining. Now, what do I mean by power quality declining? So the power is coming in, I might have a voltage drop. So literally <laughs> the voltage is falling out. I could have a frequency issue. 
Uh, in business, we use three phase power. One of the phases may drop out. One of the phases may become unsynchronized with the other phases, or they're not sufficiently balanced that way. Or I'll get transients, you know, blips that come through, fallouts that come through that may only be milliseconds in length. And then the other thing you get in is just noise, noise being uh, harmonics that are created and things like that. All of these can be enough for the control systems, the automation and control systems in a factory to literally shut down. So the to scram. Yeah, the yeah. outage may only be two to three seconds or maybe less than that. But reality is it'll bring you down for hours because everything has to be reset, all the machines. So let's think we've got injection molding machines or something like that. I've got plastic going in. All of a sudden, you know, we get a trip. The power doesn't, you know, it, it, bl it blinks for a couple of seconds or something, but the machine shut down. Now the machines have to be brought up, but the liquid plastic that's in that injection molding machine is now solidified or gotten really sticky. I got to tear it all down, clean it all up, rebuffer it, all that kind of stuff and bring it back up. So it's not uncommon for, you know, complex organization, you know, a complex manufacturing, a blip of a few milliseconds to a second will take them down for an average of five to seven hours. And these are not recorded by the utility. Power quality usually isn't recorded by the utility. And again, going back historically, <laughs> historically, when you had a power quality problem, the you know, and you called the utility, they pointed to you and said it's probably your stuff, right? Now it is primarily the uh, on the utility side of it is where these problems are coming in. So yeah, it'll take you down. It'll be you know really nasty.